All right. I am going to show you how to do the GeoGebra sketch that you need to do for uh, question one on the lesson problems for constructing triangles. So go to geogebra.org, click geometry. And the first thing we're going to do is make an equilateral triangle. And the way we do that is we start by clicking the circle with a center tool, click and hold, and drag out to draw a circle, and let go. That is our first circle with a point and a center. Then we're going to do another circle, but this time we're going to start on the outside. We're going to put the center of this circle at the point on this circle. So I click on point B and I drag till I get to point A and I let go. So now I've got two circles, each of which goes through the other one's center. Then I'm just going to put, click the point tool and put a point at the point of intersection. Now what this is done, because the distance between the center and the edge of a circle is always the same no matter where you are in the circle. A and C are equidistant from B because they're both on the circle and B is the center. And B and C are equidistant from A because B and C are on the other circle and A is the center. So A, B, and C, no matter what I move, are all going to be the same distance from each other. So I now click the segment tool and I'm going to make a segment from A to B a segment from B to C, and a segment from C to A, and that's my equilateral triangle. So when I drag any of these points, it all changes, but it all stays equilateral. Then I can select the circle, and oh, I can't do it on there. I select the circle, I go to the calculator, and when I select it, you see it's grayed out. I'm going to click it here and it disappears. Then I'm going to select this circle. It gets grayed. I'm going to click it here and it disappears. So now I just have my equilateral triangle that I can drag and change shapes. So I'm going to move these points here. And we need to be able to, um, we need to be able to see the angle measures as well as the, um, side lengths. So first we actually have to tell GeoGebra to treat this as a triangle. Because right now it's just three line segments. It doesn't actually think of it as a triangle. So I go back to the tools. I go to the click the polygon tool and I click A, then B, then C. You can see now it's shading it in. And then I go back to A to close the triangle. Now the region is shaded. It's thinking of it as a triangle. And when I click more to measure, I want to measure the angle. So I click under measure angle. And if I click in the middle, it shows me the measurements of all three. Just as we were expecting, they're all 60. I'm going to click the move. I'm going to put the 60 so I can see it a little better. Move the B around. And there's my equilateral triangle. I want to measure the sides also. So I click, go down to measure, click distance or length, and I click each of the sides. Now I actually like, it's good, uh, I'm trying to, oh, I want, I need the move tool, and I drag that out, and they're all the same. The last thing I'm going to do is name the sides. I'm going to start with this side here. It's across from angle B. So I'm going to name it little b. We generally name angles with capital letters or Greek letters and sides with small letters, lowercase letters. So the way I do it, I click the move tool, I click the side, I've got these three dots, I click them, and I want to open up the settings. That gives me the information about this segment. It's segment CA. It goes from C, you can't see the C, and A, and they're naming it H. I want to name it B, so I delete, I backspace over it, add the B, 
And then I want to show that name. So instead of value, I want the name and the value. And you can see over here, b equals 3.2. I'm going to move that out a little bit so we can see it, and we're good. Now I can just do the same thing with the other sides. Select this side. This side is across from angle A. The information is already here. I want to get rid of that G and call it little a. And I want it to show name and value. Same thing down here. This is across from C. Delete the F, put C, change this to name and value. If I click an empty space, it gets rid of that. If I don't want this here, I can close it, but I can always open it back up by just doing clicking the gear here and then the gear for settings. Basic, so anytime I select something, that comes back. Whoops. There you go. There's C again. So here's our triangle. Now we are ready to fill in the table. Length of side little a, there it is. I put 3.2. The measure of angle a, 60 degrees, and so on. In the next video, talk about how to construct an isosceles triangle, and then you can fill in the next row.